now 31, let's start getting into section 2.3, um, and that is models and applications, which is fancy math speak for word problems. Uh, you're going to do every other odd again, like always, but I just want you to see there's a little note I put here. There's an unnecessary set of directions between numbers 27 and number 28. Just ignore them. Um, it just looks like they had a typo in the book. So we're going to set up linear equations to solve real world applications. And when I say set up a linear equation, if you remember from section 2.2, that means we're going to have our variable x or maybe y or z, whatever you want to define, but our variables will only be raised to the power of 1. That's what we mean when we say linear equation. So I think word problems always bring forward a lot of anxiety in math. You know, students don't know how to attack them, which way to start. And a great place to start is always to think about the context of the question. What is your variable? And maybe how many variables do you have? So let's see if we can figure out what our variables are, like what is varying in this problem, and then how many variables. Is it singular? Is it plural? Do I have one, two, seven variables? And we'll assign each of those letters. So it says find a linear equation to solve for the following unknown quantities. So first of all, I see quantities is plural. So I just want to think about that. All right, it says one number, oops, I shifted that just a bit, excuse me. One number is three more than twice another number. If the sum of the two numbers is 36, find the numbers. So first of all, I can see I have two numbers, right? And it's giving me an infor some information that one number is three more than twice another and the sum of them is 26. And you can also see right here, in the very last part of this, this setup, it says find the numbers. Again, it's plural. So numbers are what is varying in this problem, and it looks like I have two of them. So since I have two of them, I'm just gonna call them X and Y. And you could call them whatever you wanted, A and B, M and O, it doesn't matter. But I'm just gonna call X the first number, and I'm gonna let Y be the second number. And how these problems will be phrased for section 2.3 is if we have two variables, there must have been two equations hiding out in this word problem. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio. If we've got two variables, we need two equations so we can solve them. If we only had the one variable, I would only need one equation to solve it. Three variables, three equations. So for this problem, I've got two variables, right? I've got two numbers. So there were two numbers, excuse me, two equations somewhere in this problem. So I'm going to start with, I'm actually going to start with the easier of the two. I'm going to start with this sentence. It says, if the sum of the two numbers is 36. Now this word is. Most of the time, or frequently when you see is in a math application, it's a stand-in for the equal sign. So I know that something is equal to 36. And that something, it says, is the sum of the two numbers. Well, if we're talking about sums, we're talking about adding things, so I would like to add these two variables together. So my first equation is that x plus y is equal to 36. Right? So on the left side here, we have the sum of the two numbers, and on the right side here, we have the number 36, Right? because the sum of the two numbers is equal to 36. So there's one of my equations. Now let's take a look at this sentence. This is the one that's a little bit more convoluted. It says one number is three more than twice another number. So one number is, I want to point out the is, three more than twice another number. So let's unpack each of these vocab terms one at a time. When you hear three more, more goes with the math operation of addition. And if you hear me talk about math operations, let me just take a little sidetrack here, math operations. There are four math operations we have in math. We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, or I should say four linear operations. So we've got addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And when I hear the phrase three more, that's asking me to use the operation of addition. When I hear twice another number, again, you're doubling a number. So if a number was four, twice that number is eight. If a number was 10, twice that number is 20. If a number was negative seven, twice that number is negative 14. But when you do twice another number, you're getting asked to use the math operation of multiplication. So I've got these two operations getting activated in this sentence. 
So one number, doesn't matter which one you call it, you could call it X or Y. So just for fun here, I'll call it X. All right, one number is three more than twice another number. So we'll do twice another number. I doubled it through multiplication. Okay, so now I had my two variables and I have my two equations, I'm good to go. You have a couple of options here. You could use substitution, elimination, you could graph these, you could use matrices. It depends again on your math background in terms of what technique you would use. But for me, just taking a look at it, I'm gonna use substitution. I know here x is equal to three plus two y, so I'm gonna substitute that into this equation. So instead of writing x here, I'm gonna write what it's equal to, three plus two y, which means this equation will change to three plus two y, right, x plus y equals 36. Right, so instead of x plus y, I'm, instead of x, I'm literally, I'm writing what it's equal to, three plus two y. Well, now it cuts down to, I can simplify. I see y and two y on this side, so I have three plus three y here, equaling 36. I'll go ahead and subtract three from both sides. And when I simplify that, I'm gonna get three y is equal to 33. So let me move that over here. I'm gonna have three y equaling 33, divide both sides by three, y will equal 11. Okay, now I'm gonna scoot this up just so I can finish this problem off. I don't want you to think that once you get here, you're done with the question. So sometimes we get all excited, you know, we're like, oh my goodness, I got an answer, and that is great. But the, the question said find the numbers, plural. You've only found me one number. All I know right now is that y is equal to 11. I still don't know what x is equal to, but I do have an equation for it. So I know there's a lot of arrows, but I can substitute that back right here. So here we go, x is three plus two y. So if y is 11, two times 11, is 22, and 22 plus three is 25. So I would know here that x was equal to three plus two times 11, which is equal to 25. All right, so if I was gonna write this solution up, the two numbers are, we had 11 and 25. And I'm fine if you want to say 25 and 11, 11 and 25. And again, you could have also written this as y equaling 3 plus 2x, and you would have gotten the same answer. Ultimately, our numbers are 11 and 25. All right, so with that, we're going to move on to example two. See you in a bit. Bye.